Hello everyone! If you haven't seen any of my other videos on this channel, my name's Ethan, and I'm a math major here at Biola. And I just wanted to sit down today and talk to you guys about, you know, kind of why I enjoy doing math and, and how math and my spiritual life are kind of interconnected. The thing about math is that a lot of the formulas and equations that we use are actually a lot more grounded in real life than a lot of people think. It's just an amazing way of seeing how God's mind works and how his hand works in the materialistic world. Because in spite of what a lot of people think, the world around us is very mathematically based. A lot of the stuff that we enjoy today and that we use, you can't do it without math. There's math in nature, there's math in um, science and technology, there's math in so many places, it's insane. I mean, the golden ratio, the golden ratio is this idea of a certain mathematical ratio that we see in in life all the time in nature and we find it beautiful. That's one of the things that, that we find aesthetic about a lot of different things in this world and that's why we enjoy beauty. And that's one example of a mathematical equation or mathematical idea that fits into how we see the world around us and I personally believe that looking at these equations and looking at these topics in math they are the smallest smallest reflection of the brilliance of God's mind and even when it presents difficulty for me to understand I see that difficulty and I see just how much greater God's mind is than my own he is so much more knowledgeable and he knows exactly how everything's supposed to fit together in this world and it's just amazing to be able to look at that on the smallest scale possible. It's also insane that when you look at math, it's all based on something that is continually true all the time. But the thing is, is God is so much greater than that, so much greater than his creation, that at any point, all of these true facts could cease being true if God decided that that's how he wanted to make it. And it's just amazing that a lot of what holds the world together, which really is math, it's insane that at any moment he could say, I don't want this to be true anymore because he created it. It's not like truth from God's character. God can't not be who he is. He can't not be truth. But when it comes to math, math is created. God created math. So God can decide what is true and what is not. I like to think that my spiritual life has benefited a lot from my love for math and my pursuit of knowledge in the mathematic area. It's so easy to just, you know, throw math out the window and say we don't really need this except basic addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. I mean, I see memes about that all the time. It's like, I'm still not using Pythagorean theorem. But the thing is, is that math is, math shows us the beauty of God. It's not always about how useful it is for us. It's about how do we see God's hand in nature, in creation? How can we experience God's mind, God's intellect, his brilliance? Um, while we're here on earth, outside of scripture. Scripture is amazing and scripture is God's special revelation to us. But how do we see that also in general revelation? And that's, that's, that's how I view it. That's how I find beauty in, in mathematics. And that's why I really enjoy um, being that specific major.